All right, guys, back with another video. And in my first video, I was just talking about starting a vlog. And uh, the, the, the first request that everyone gave me was to do a review on the Rheem Platinum Hybrid. So in this review, we're gonna tell you how to save $450 a year on your power bill just through the savings with the Rheem Platinum Hybrid. All right, guys, we're reviewing the Rheem Platinum Hybrid. This is a water heater I got from Home Depot, um, and I had it installed in my house, and it really is the perfect companion to a solar uh, solar system because of how much how little energy this, this hybrid water heater uses. Um, I got this unit on Black Friday. It was about $1,900. It's the largest size you can get. It's the 80 gallon. They come in three sizes, a, a 50 gallon, 65 gallon, and 80 gallon. The 80 gallon is, is just about five feet, 10 inches. I'm about five feet, 10 inches, but you can see this is uh, mounted up on the, uh, up on this pedestal here. So I'm just about the same height as the water unit itself. So just make sure you have that clearance if you're looking to install this water heater. So right, like I said, it's $1,900 on, on Black Friday. Um, and I actually had a, a plumber install it for um, $600. So all in cost is about $2,500. And what we're seeing um, in terms of savings is around $400. $50 a year. So I'm going to tell you about the install, like how we did the install. Uh, I won't go in like a lot of details. Um, I'll show you s kind of some of the cool features of the unit, like how you can control it with your phone and uh, the, the neat unit right here, this Econet screen that is right in front of the, um, the, the water heater. And then uh, talk about like why it's a hybrid and how it's designed to be that. And then um, we'll go over some questions uh, that I found while, while kind of doing research on this unit that I think uh, some people will be interested in. So let's go into the install. All right, guys, we're gonna go over the install and, and how this water unit actually works, water heater works. Um, so it's a mix of a heat pump, like a mini condensation AC unit and an electrical water heater. Um, so it's, it's actually taking the temp, uh, ambient air around the unit. It's sucking it in just like how a heat pump would. And then it's transferring that heat energy into the water and then um, cooling it off, um, blowing out cold air. So the heat is, using to, is being used to heat the water and then the excess uh, cooling is then being exhausted out. So around this area, um, there's a, a fan about the size of my hand, maybe like eight inches or so. Um, and it's just blowing out nice kind of cold air. So while this can't cool down like a whole area, it, it could cool, probably cool a, a smaller area. Um, okay, so in terms of install, most water heaters have most of their connections at the center. But what you're gonna see here is you don't have that. Instead, you've got a little filter, kind of like your air conditioner filter that you'll change monthly. And then you've got a pipe that comes out for the electrical. And then all of the other um, items, the inlets and all that are actually on the other side. So right here is the hot water valve inlet that they installed, uh, the plumber installed. So you can see they put a shut off there. And then they, the piping is right here on the unit behind it at the top. So they ran the pipe kind of down and around to over here. Um, and then there's another inlet at the, near in the back, um, because that's kind of out of the way they had to run a copper piping kind of around the unit and to the bottom there, to the drain pan. So they installed the drain pan and because this is a heat pump, it, cond it produces condensation 
Um, and those are kind of just water droplets, similar to an AC unit. Um, as it's doing, it's uh, transferring this heat into and turning it into cool air. So as it does that, um, there there is an outtake valve here that is dripping that condensation line. So a condensation line is um, different for a water heater because your normal water heater without the heat pump won't have the condensation line. So what we did is we ran a PVC pipe up into connected the condensation valve and then ran this all the way down. And then in my house, we have a drain that is actually plumbed right into the wall. So uh, in this house, there was already a pre-plumbed -pre drain here. This just goes to the outside of my garage and just, it drips like a few drips. And so that's pretty much the install. It, take, it took around, it took my plumber about two to three hours to do it. Um, and there's quite a bit of pipe that you have to lay out and, and plan. Um, the, this center drain here had to go straight through the middle. Um, and I had, uh, just for reference, I had Grand Zero Plumbing and AC do it here in sunny Gilbert, Arizona. Um, okay, so this water heater is really good at when your temperatures are kind of hot. And in Arizona, the, the, the water heater um, area in a garage, I mean, right now the temperature in my garage is 93 degrees. So it's just kind of sucking in that hot air and able to transfer um, the cool air, tr transfer the heat into the, the heat pump and then turn it into uh, nice cold air here. So right now it's running in heat pump mode. So the other thing on this unit is that it comes with Econet straight on the unit. So right here we can see like, okay, it says it's in heat pump mode and then it gives me various settings. So if I wanna change the mode, I know right now it's set for 130 degrees. It's nice and digital. I can click on the mode and then I can change my modes. Like I could go into vacation mode or let's see here. I can go into high demand mode. If say I'm needing extra electricity, I have some guests over. Um, I can also go into off mode. I can go into the energy saver mode. So energy saver mode is a mix of like using a heat pump and electricity. It's just finding the best, it uses an algorithm to decide, okay, I'll run heat pump for a little bit, electricity for a little bit. And uh, this is the way I'll save uh, the energy. Um, and then we can go back to heat pump mode. So heat pump mode is the most efficient uh, mode on this unit because it's just gonna, the only energy it's using is the ambient temperature transference. The heat is being sucked in by the water heater, transferred to the water and blown out as cool air. And, and that uses very, very little energy. Um, and that, so that makes it the perfect companion to people that have solar systems who might be on a demand management plan. Um, and you, you need to watch maybe how many kilowatts you're using um, so if you, if you have an electrical water heater, you're on a solar plan, um, you, you're looking to cut some energy, this is a great buy, I think, to, to try to do that. Um, so next we'll go over the application that's connected to this Econet. So this Econet has a Wi-Fi signal, right? So that Wi-Fi signal is hooked to my Wi-Fi and it's transmitting out to their servers, to the Ream Econet servers. And then you can download the Econet application, which I'm gonna go over um, in a few steps here, so. All right, guys, now I'm gonna tell you about the uh, kind of the features of the application itself. So on the application, you can set, uh, as soon as you enter the application, it tells you the temperature that it's reading off the water heater. In my case, it's around 130 degrees. Um, and then at the bottom, near the bottom of the app, um, so if I want, I can change that mode, that heat pump mode, 
um, to any mode I want. So uh, like I showed you the other modes, there's a high demand mode. So if I'm having a party or something, or I have some folks staying over for the weekend or, or for a couple weeks, then I could, if I need to, I'm running out of um, hot water, we can just enter the, the high demand mode and that's gonna use the maximum amount of energy just like a regular water heater would. Um, but most of the times I'm in the heat pump mode um, or I'm in the energy saver mode. Um, I'm on a time of use plan. What I actually do is during my peak hours, I use the most efficient mode, which is the heat pump mode. And then in my non-time of use hours, my off-peak hours, I just use what's called the energy saver mode. Um, and then every now and then, if I have a need for extra hot water for some reason, I use the, the high demand mode, which doesn't happen very often. That's like if six, seven people in the house trying to take a shower or something, um, which is pretty rare. Okay guys, let's break it down in terms of how much I saved on this water heater. So this water heater produces, in 2019, it used up 812 kilowatt hours. Um, and depending on how much you pay for power, uh, we can use the national average of 13 cents per kilowatt hour. And if we do the math, 812 kilowatts hours times 13 cents is about $106. So this 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 water heater under average power rates we only spent $106. But luckily in Gilbert Arizona SRP with the solar we only pay 5 cents. So we actually paid half of that. So we paid $50 a year just in water heating, which is incredible it truly is incredible because normal water heater is going to use 12 kilowatt hours per day because it uses up all of its electricity it doesn't have a, a hybrid uh, mode to run in and so you're getting a lot more electricity use on that type of unit um, so if you do 12 kilowatt hours a day times 30 you get 360 kilowatt hours per month, per month. And then you multiply that by 12, because there's 12 months in a year, right? So 4,300 kilowatt hours on your typical water heater. And then times about 13 cents, that's $560. So typical water heater is costing you $560 a year. The hybrid water heater is costing you about $100 a year. What's that savings? It's around 450 some dollars. So that's how you save $450 a year with the water heater. And at the beginning of our video, all in, we were $1,900, bought this unit on Black Friday, and then we're saving about $450 a year. So we break even in about five years and the unit has a 10 year warranty. Um, so I think that's worth it. Uh, in the comments, why don't you tell me, do you think that's worth it? Five years break even for this water heater? If you do, um, just let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're thinking of buying this unit. Um, and then here are some questions some people have that I found on Home Depot. All right. So... The first question is, can you use this water heater in just the heat pump mode? Because what you're going to realize is that this water heater, it's most efficient in the heat pump mode um, because it's using such little energy. And at least in Arizona, you can totally do that. If your water heater is in the garage where it hits like 100, 120 degrees in summer and even hotter in your garage because it's absorbing all that heat, you could completely leave it in heat pump mode and you'd be fine. Um, and then if you're leaving it in controlled area temperatures, like somewhere in the inside of the basement or kitchen that some people use or uh, some kind of storage area, you probably still could leave it in heat pump mode because it's in a temperature controlled environment. If you're in a really cold place like Chicago, New York, and your garage reaches below 50 degrees ambient temperature, 
or the surrounding air is going below 50 degrees, heat pump mode is not gonna do a whole lot for your water heater. You're gonna have to use the energy saver mode or possibly the electric mode to get some savings. Another uh, common question is, can you use your phone to view and control the application? So like I, guys, like I showed you guys, there is a way to use your phone. Uh, just download the Econet app, and then you can control all kinds of settings and view what the current temperature is. And then if you have guests and you need extra water heating, then you can turn on those extra modes. Another common question is, can you use less than 30 amp breaker on this unit? It looks like the most recommended answer is to sti just stick with a 30 amp breaker. And then the follow-up question to that was, how many bolts is this unit? And it's 208 to 220 bolts. So um, you're gonna need it, you know, at least that kind of 220 volt socket uh, with 30 amp breaker to run this. So if you're getting this water heater, the bigger things you have to plan for are the installation. So just make sure you have a place to put that condensate line. You have a plan with your plumber or if you're doing the install yourself for how you're gonna snake the pipes because they're in a different location than most water heaters. Um, it's, it's not too bad. Um, and another tip I would give is that don't use the Home Depot install. Uh, if you try, it's, it's a great, Home Depot is a good place to purchase this water heater. It's even better to purchase it during Black Friday, but do not use the Home Depot install. I got a quote from them for $1,000, and I was just kind of astonished. I was like, $1,000 for a water heater? That doesn't make any sense, right? So I called my local plumber, and they quoted about $600 with the drain pan and the whole condensate install. So I think the job took about two to three hours and in materials, maybe they spent like, I don't know, like 50, 60 bucks in terms of piping and the drain pan. So you figure your labor and then the costs in your area, but you're looking about a three hour install with about 60, $70 in parts. To conclude, I love this water heater. I highly recommend it for anybody who's on you know, a solar plan or a plan where they need to watch the energy they're using during their peak hours. Uh, that's like demand management, time of use. Um, maybe you've got a power wall where you're not supposed to use more than, you know, five kilowatts or 10 kilowatts, depending on how many batteries you have connected. Uh, this would be a great solution for that because you can just stick it in heat pump mode and you don't need to worry about the drain on your, your batteries in the house. So that's all I got on this review. Please leave uh, comments down below. Please give a like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And let me know what you think. Are you thinking of buying this water heater? Did you think this provides good value? Are you looking to save $450 a year with a 10-year warranty? And we'll see you on the next video.